first of three races here at Fossilas to finish up week uh, day one of week five on the flat race of the starters order season it's a listed Welsh St Ledger over one mile five furlongs Landa Marvels Mercy Buku the four to one favourite the Yorkshire Cup winner Getaway Junkie Graham Clutterbuck Hendricks Michael Scarlett Jinka Barrera Steve Rand Jurisdiction Robert Steve Rand No More Promises David Hooley San Antonio Pichi Vinny Gerard Bon Maman Ryan Tamasevi Chapter Blend Ryan Costello Deal of the Day Craig Beckwith Illusoria Bauer, Craig Allen, Queen of Night, Leon Van Rensburg, Queen to be David Hooley, Bronze Demon, Paul Rhodes, Rince Wasmi, Davy Ladd, Tour de France, Paul Rhodes, Dazzy Bally, Dan Hughes, Happy Hawk, Dan Hughes, Melbury, Namibia for Davy Ladd and the perfect mix for Joshua Sutherland. Completes a large lineup here of 21. And they're off and running, the stalls are open, a pretty even break here at Foslas for the Welsh and Ledger, one mile five furlongs to travel here. Uh, it's for all the horses, not just for the three-year-olds. So, got some horses that have got some pretty good form in the lineup today. We've got the one-two from the Yorkshire Cup uh, last week, although there'll be a weight penalty for the winner of that, uh, Mercy Bukup. And we've got Queen of Night, who's run some big races in Group One company over previous weeks. Alanda Marvels a winner last time out uh, over in Australia. I think that win was uh, for Leon Van Rensburg. So we've got some really good horses here travelling to Wales for this Welsh and Legend. It's Getaway Junkie that's opened up the early lead and is setting that early pace with a good six length advantage at least uh, for Graham Clutterbuck over Hendricks on the rail. In second place we've got Chapter Blend and No More Promises on the outside of that one. Queen to be as well in the purple silks in the centre of the track. Racing out wider we've got a Lazoria Bauer, the grey horse Jinka Bruer as well. Uh, racing very wide towards the rear of the field at the moment. We've got Bomber Mam, the perfect mix and as always Queen of Night is going to look to do things from behind a wall of horses as we're already into the final mile seven and a half furlongs we've got left to go in the chasing pack and now just starting to close on this early lead a getaway junkie it's queen to be and no more promises uh, that are leading the chase and now tour de france starts to come forward as well melbury namibia's moved uh, smoothly through uh, the middle of the pack as well and has now just gone into a share of second along with hendrix who still has the rail now uh, the favorite mercy for cooper's uh, in the race and in the middle of the pack but has the rail and has a nice little run through on the rail there as well for Ryan Tamasevi and towards the rear of the field at the moment we've got Rince Wasmi and Jurisdiction Roberts into the final five furlongs here and Getaway Junkie just starts to try and shoot for home now uh, Jockey getting to work but not really pulling away from this pack Queen to be being ridden patiently as is Melbury Namibia Land of Marvels for Leon Van Rensburg's now cruised through into second place and is uh, looking to challenge Getaway Junkie but Getaway Junkie just kicks on slightly again Again. Here comes the favourite Mercy Bukup down the centre of the track, just about to join the Land of Marvels and is now the one to set off in chase of Getaway Junkie, but still inside the final two and a half furlongs, it's Getaway Junkie that they all have to catch. Coming to the two furlong pull, Graham Clutterbuck's Getaway Junkie still has the lead. Mercy Bukup's working hard to try and press that one. Here comes Dazzy Bally, the grey horse. San Antonio Peachy for Vinnie Gerard. Queen of Night has finally got daylight and is starting to hunt down these leaders, but Getaway Junkie still has the nose out in front, but Mercy Bukup challenging hard on the outside. Mercy Bukup has the lead. He's looking for a quick follow-up, but Queen of Night has burst out the pack. Bomber Man's finally got racing room as well, but as we hit the line, Mercy Bukup follows up the Yorkshire Cup win with a win in the Welsh St Ledger. Top weight hasn't prevented the horse from showing its class here, and I think Bomber Man might have ran on strongly to pinch third place as well. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't quite a 1 2 this time like in the Yorkshire Cup because Queen of Night has spoiled that party, but Mercy Bukup wins it, the 13 to 8 favourite. Queen of Night second, Leon Van Rensburg, Bomber Man third, uh, Unlucky didn't get the racing room, Getaway Junkie in fourth, and Land of Marvels completes the top five.